This headless professor video is about how to do charts on Excel. There's three kinds of charts that we will be talking about today. Pie charts, bar charts, and line graphs. The pie chart gives a circular diagram in which the size of the slice shows the relative proportionate distribution across the different categories of the variable. Here's an example of how you might have your data on Excel to begin with. Suppose we're looking at the distribution of votes in the last election. The Democrats had 48%. The Republicans had a little bit less at 45%. And other candidates such as the Green, the Independents, and other write-ins had 7% of the votes. Now if you highlight these six cells representing the different labels of parties and the different numbers, and then you click on the chart function and select a pie chart, here's what you will get on Excel. Notice that the red represents Republican and their slice is just a little bit smaller than the blue which represents Democrat. A bar chart is a chart in which the length of a bar or a column shows the proportionate or absolute level of a variable in a group, a sample or a population. This can be used for a variable measured in any kind of scale. Once again, let's take a look at how our data would be entered on Excel. We would highlight these six cells, and then we would go into the chart function. We would actually select what Excel calls a column chart. It's really a bar chart. And here's what it would look like. Notice that the Democrats column is a little bit taller than the Republican because they got uh, a few more votes. A line graph shows the change of a variable over a time series. Now let's suppose we enter the data like this. We look at the three different categories of votes, the Democrat, the Republican, and the other. And then we look at five different election cycles, say for a congressional race, 2000, 02, 04, 06, and 08. We then highlight these six by four cells and we select line graph and here's what we will get. The blue line represents the Democrats showing a trend upward. The red line represents the Republicans showing a slightly lower trend at the bottom we see the votes for other. And we could also indicate the same data with a bar chart from Excel and just have the same data cells highlighted and this time select bar chart and here's what it will look like on Excel. Hope this was a helpful Headless Professor video. Come back and join us again for more. Create your very own video podcast from PowerPoint. Log on to authorstream.com. It's absolutely free.